Of course, everybody wants to know what the state can do to bring down the cost we're all paying for electricity. That's right. NBC Connecticut political reporter Mike Savino talked to some experts. So what'd you learn, Mike? Yeah, Mike, of course, right now, everybody is feeling this public benefits portion of the bill. It's having a huge impact with that increase, but electricity prices and setting them is a lot more complicated than just flipping a switch. Our prices are a reflection of a complex set of regulations. Connecticut has some of the highest electricity prices in the country, and that was true even before that July 1st increase. But why? Distribution or wheeling electricity to the region costs something. Power companies buy the electricity that they deliver, and much of that comes from outside of New England. Those costs fluctuate based on a lot of market factors, including the energy needed to deliver the energy that we use. Then there's the cost of the grid. The delivery cost of the electricity has been rising due to the expenses associated with maintaining those lines. Connecticut's grid has to withstand harsh winters and summer storms. Power companies can even look to recover the cost of cleaning up after major storms. Regulators have to approve those hikes, but there's limits to their power. And then, of course, there's those public benefits. So public policy does play a role here, uh, but I, there's no silver bullet. That's driving that July 1st spike, but experts say that's only a small reason why Connecticut's prices have always been so high. So what's the solution? To reduce the cost of the electricity, I just don't see that happening in the near future. And then another problem we're dealing with right now, homeowners can try to use less power, but we're, of course, not the only ones. We have massive data centers and companies relying on artificial intelligence, driving overall demand back up. And, of course, price fluctuates with that demand. Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News. Mike and Keisha, back to you. Mike, thank you.